Hi, good morning, guys. Now I'm gonna start my class. Okay, the laptop is on, and my notebook, and my pen, and even the charger, and the Bluetooth. And everything is ready now. Everything is just set to go. Well, let's. Gonna good morning. Uh, I'm just gonna like. Uh, I'm a new learner for the PTE. Uh, PTE class. I have took uh, one uh, class cross for the PTE class, and I'm just gonna make a video like which is as a beginner for the PTE uh, practitioner or a beginner of that. I how I practice and what are the techniques that I apply or what are the tricks that I follow from somebody or from the YouTube or from some kind of sources that were available in the internet online in the uh, social platforms. That's how I learn something. And this video is uh, not to say something big or huge, something trick, something like that. I just want to share it like whatever I have learned till now, because when I just um, when I am able to teach somebody or when I'm able to explain somebody what I've learned, I guess that knowledge it uh, enters into our deep uh, long-term memory and that gonna store there. So it will be more practicable for me and easy for me, like whichever format I have learned from. So later when I just review that, it will be more easier for me. So that's how I'm making the video. Please don't take it in another way or something like that so now this is the app uh, of pte app where we can buy online uh, the all the practice question and as i have uh, 30 seconds it will provide uh, here in the point like we can just prepare in that 30 seconds like how you're gonna practice how you're gonna read out you have time uh, like the 30 seconds just to prepare yourself so when the time is zero then the beep sound will come then you have to start recording from there <clears throat> One of the complex agriculture problem is the issue of the food waste. Food waste refer to the discarding of edible food at various stages of the food supply chain from production to consumption. This not only represents a significant loss of resources but also has environmental implications such as greenhouse gas emissions from decomposing food waste and landfill. So I'm done. So we can check our score, like what is the score that we got it. So now you can see the score. Out of 90 in speaking, I got uh, 82. And in reading, I got 82. It's the same score out of 90. I think it's a great score. And here the scale of measurement, like <clears throat> skill, how it's measured. Like in your content, you spoke out almost in 90%, you spoke of 82% and your fluency level was 82% out of 90 and your pronunciation was 4.5 out of 5 so this is how you're gonna monitor yourself or evaluate yourself and practice more so the problem was like the few things which I was not pronouncing well that has come as a bad or miss words so this is like agriculture problems refers, represent and landfills uh, the four um, the four words that I was missing out I mean the five words that I was missing out, out of uh, out of 58 words so that's how the some marks were deducted from here and so I scored out of 90 only 82 82 this is how we're gonna get score during the exam as well so when you practice if you go in just one pace like one pitch of your volume the pitch of your tone or the volume which you uh, speak or which you read if it's in similar tone then the ai gonna evaluate uh, in a very uh, comprehensive way or in a very particular way so you can score good but if you have the uh, pitch or uh, the tone of your voice sometimes it's very high and sometimes it's very low so they're gonna like if you have more fluctuation in your voice tone then they're gonna give you less score because uh, you need to mention your, maintain your pace and you need to mention your fluency level when you're speaking so that's what they're gonna check doesn't matter about the content like the, if the content if some kind of words are difficult for you you don't need to pronounce that you can just leave that 
because it will affect your fluency level so when you are unable to pronounce some kind of words like uh, agriculture or problems you can just leave that when you practice you can just uh, pronounce uh, when you just you can just read out it one of the complex problem is the issue of food waste like which will maintain your pace which will maintain your fluency level that's how you're gonna read you can just leave which will affect your fluency level because it, that's what happened means like when you're unable to pronounce clearly the word that will affect your fluency level as well as it will affect your content and you will decrease the mark on the fluency as well so that's two point where you will be having deduction of the mark so better to stop that from the fluency to gain out of 90 90 marks or out of five you can get five marks by avoiding some content which is a bit difficult for you to pronounce